Hey there, YouTubers, and happy Saturday to you. Hey, this is going to be a super short and sweet video. I'm um, sorry I'm recording it off my iPhone, so it's going to be a little jittery now and again. Um, anyway, just a super quick uh, mention to pay a particular close attention to your maintenance on your tanks. And I know that probably goes without saying for most people, but so recently, uh, as yesterday actually, um, I was doing a little maintenance uh, water change on my 55 and uh, it's not really easy to see I'm gonna try and get reasonably close look to the sorry for the uh, the glare in here anyway um, yeah not not really easy to see this guy but anyway this is uh, this is a Penplax 600 submersible uh, filter sorry and yesterday when I was doing the water change, I turned this guy off and just like I always do, did the water change, uh, plugged it back in, turned it back on, nothing happened. Didn't even move any water, right? Wasn't doing anything. Um, so I was like, okay, what's going on? So I pulled the unit out, plugged it in, tested it, still nothing, right? Not even a sound in the motor, not any vibrations, nothing. Um, so I went ahead and checked out the manufacturer's website and looking at the warranty replacement parts for these guys. And this one, uh, I'm not so sure about, about these Penplex units. Um, the unit itself I bought in October of this year off of Amazon. It cost me $22 for the unit itself, or $24 rather. And uh, free shipping, I think, or maybe there was a few dollars shipping. I, I can't remember. But anyway, the unit was pretty, pretty inexpensive. I go on the manufacturer's website and to order parts for this, um, if you want to get a full replacement of the entire unit under warranty, um, they have PayPal options for shipping. And I want to say the the uh, shipping for a complete unit, um, and it didn't even tell you, it didn't even talk about which unit because obviously they've got several. They've got canister filters, they've got uh, submersible filters, etc. A bunch of hang on backs, I think. Uh, anyway, so a complete replacement shipping PayPal fee is like 35 bucks, and I was like, wait a minute, for a $24 unit, I have to pay $35 for warranty repair. So I'm going to tear this thing down, break it apart, take a good look at it, um, ripped it all apart, and uh, when I say ripped it all apart, just the user replaceable parts and user cleanable parts, right? I didn't like dig into the motor and like get into screwdrivers or anything like that. This is just literally taken into the slop sink and taking it apart and giving it a good once over and a cleaning and uh, plugged it back in and just as uh, just as you would expect it actually turned on unbelievable um, so I was I was a little excited right so uh, anyway put the unit back together um, jumped in my email saw that they had gotten back to me on customer service saying that uh, if I had already ordered the replacement parts then they would get back to me with uh, shipping information etc um, but I replied and said hey no worries thing works I'm real happy um, shocked that it was gonna cost me about hundred and twenty percent of the unit cost to get shipping for replacement parts but let that be a lesson to you so uh, sometimes these things need a little more than uh, just your standard scrub um, you gotta take them down break them apart get to the impeller clean that all off and I'm, I'm guessing it was probably just junk that got lodged in there, uh, probably settled when uh, when the unit was powered off. And then when it went to go back on, you know, something was probably jammed in there and it wouldn't, uh, wouldn't start spinning the impeller. So, you know, again, lesson learned. Um, you know, when you're doing your take maintenance, sometimes it pays to break these things down a little bit further and get inside them, get some real good cleaning done and uh, you'll be happy with the results. You know, it's uh, the meat and everything was, was all still good. I love these, I actually love this uh, submersible 600 um, inside this 55. The, uh, the power head itself sits on top of the media. So this is really easy, right? You take that unit out, you don't have to worry about messing with your beneficial bacteria or anything like that. You pull it out, you clean it up, you get it all put back together. It's beautiful, it's pristine, it's pushing uh, a large gallons per hour out of this thing. It's got some pretty good, uh, pretty good power. So, um, anyway, that's uh, just it for today. I didn't want to make this too long. So, thanks for watching and uh, have a great day. Bye.